Welcome to another 5-Minute Multicraft video. I'm Joey Keller. Uh, we're going to look today at this really cool question which comes up from time to time. Uh, Recycle WNY is asking uh, how to split contacts randomly in a campaign. Maybe he wants to do A-B testing or for any other reason he just wants to uh, make an even half and half random uh, split. There's two ways to do this and I'm going to show you both how to do them. So in solution number one, we're going to capture the data in a form and we make sure that when we capture the data in a form, we also add the random field, which is either A or B. So it helps the A-B testing uh, in the campaign. Uh, and we're going to do this by using a plugin, which is the form action plugin by Zdeno Kosmani. Uh, you should download that. In the description, you can see the link and the details. The plugin looks like this. You should enable it and then you have a new option uh, called form actions. So I created a simple form. I have two fields here, email and first name. As you can see, I don't have any other fields, just these two. But the form action will update a completely different field, uh, which is not related to this form. So let's create that field. I go to custom fields. Uh, I'm going to call that uh, campaign, campaign AB. And this is going to be a text belonging to the contact. So let's go back to our form once this is saved and we tell the form action plugin uh, so let's edit and you see I have a I will delete this because I was testing so we have a form save actions we're gonna tell this plugin that when someone uh, fills out the form automatically their uh, campaign a B should be filled out either a or B so in twig language that's random a or B I'm gonna put this also uh, on my website and the link will be in the description. So this will make sure that when I fill it out, it will be A or B. So let's test it out how that looks. So I'm going to do, I don't know, one of my tests here. This one, first name is t-shirt. This is my t-shirt person submit. And if I go back here and check at the, the, the results, I don't see anything here because we don't have this field, this, this campaign field. So it's not here. But if I open the contact, then I will be able to see that this person got a B. So I will try it many times, then randomizer would of course kick in. So when this happens, then we can super easy just create our campaign. So I'm gonna create a new campaign here. I'm gonna call this random form action. And here we will look for A or B. So we start with our form, but it could be anything actually. I have my random test and here I would make a condition where I'm looking for a contact field value and I would look here for my campaign AB where it can be either A or B so I'm looking here let's say at A and if it's A then yes then it goes on this branch and if it's B it goes on the other branch that's one way to do this so there is another way with another free plugin from Mr. Kuzmani and it's called SQL conditions. I'm going to publish that. This plugin is also really, really cool. It has many different uh, use cases. So once you install the SQL condition uh, plugin, you will have a new option here by campaign. So let's create a new campaign. I will call this uh, AB test campaign. Of course, it's not a real AB test, but we're going to split our contacts half and half approximately. Um, let's start it with a segment this time and I will go with my, I don't know, guided tutorial users. So here um, I can right away set a condition and this condition can be, does this person have a tag? Does this person do whatever? But if I install the SQL conditions plugin, I have a new uh, option here, which can be yes and no. And I have already some conditions here. For example, does this person have a birthday today? How it works is that I can write an SQL query which says, uh, list me all the contacts with this lead ID and the lead ID is always the person who is running this campaign right now. So if it's running for Joey, then it would be, uh, you know, my lead ID and it will check, does this person have a birthday today? And you can write this in SQL or you can say, have this, this person, has he visited 10 times a page where the URL contains cron? You see, you can do this in a, in a segment or any other condition, but here with the SQL conditions, you can write it. You can combine very sophisticated queries, or you can say, does this person have 
a multic lead ID, which is odd or even. So this way you can really easily create a random like experience. And let's see how that would look like in a, in a SQL. So I'm just gonna check for contact tag here like this that I can save it, doesn't matter. So let's look at our SQL conditions, how that would look like. So I have a random condition here, and this is gonna be very simple. It's gonna check, select all the contacts who are even with this contact ID. So if I don't have a contact ID, I will have absolutely no result, which will bring me to the no branch of this condition. If my contact is contact ID is even, it will go to the yes branch. So let's look at it, how it would, uh, and this, uh, by the way, you can all, of course, see it in the in the description connected with this video. So that would be a condition here, SQL conditions. Here I'm choosing the SQL condition I just created, which is the random one. Random. And I will immediately uh, run it. Of course, it's not random. It's checking if my ID is even or or or, or odd, but doesn't matter. And then I have a yes and no brain. So I actually ran this on a bigger campaign and let me show you what I found. So let me check how that would actually perform uh, this solution if we are uh, uh, dividing the contacts into even and odd uh, IDs. So let's look at this condition. It's going to be random condition, even, odd. like this and we're gonna give a tag actually here let's take bigger samples okay I'm gonna take all inactive contacts and in my system and I'm gonna add them a tag so we're gonna change the tag to yes gonna do a yes tag and if a no then I'm gonna do a no tag actually I have a no no or something yeah so let's do this. So I'm going to have this run and then let's see what happens. So this is all kind of contacts, uh, contacts who have been uh, visiting my page, just being inactive. And we're going to run this, this uh, campaign for them. And let's hope that it will really divide into two different uh, even uh, groups. Okay, the campaign must have finished. And yeah, I can see it ran for 33,000 contacts. Let's see the actions. So as you can see, we have almost perfect 50-50. So 50.1 and 49.9. So I think for us, this is actually good enough. Uh, so I would say these are the two ways you can do uh, random A-B testing in your campaign with the tools currently available in Modic. For more information, there is a blog post connected to this uh, quick video. Check out my website and read the details there. There are links to the, to the plugins and also a description of the random twig uh, and the MySQL uh, scripts. See you next time.